Hi YouTube, I know it's been a long time, but I wanted to give you guys a shout out and let you guys know that I'm so sorry I've been gone for quite some time. I was super busy with finals uh, for my master's degree and I just had a lot of things that I had going on. But I appreciate all the support and all the messages. I have a lot of catching up to do, a lot of requests that I need to get done. And this video is going to be a quick shout out to a few people as well as an old request that I received from Kay Kimberly 2004 I had originally gotten tagged by her to do five life lessons learned and um, I came up with quite a few things ironically today um, one lesson that I definitely learned today is keep your friends close but your enemies closer now that's an old old lesson everyone knows that that's so cliche but yet so true Today I had a situation happen to me and I don't want to really get into the details about it, but um, it proved that to be so true. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. So basically know who you're dealing with at all times and, you know, not everybody is who they seem to be. So, you know, be careful. Um, another lesson that I'd have to say that's a life lesson learned would be it takes a long time to become the person that you want to be. Um, and what that means to me is that you don't turn into the person that you want to be inside and outside overnight. It takes time. You know, everything that you, what's the word, um, aspire to be, you know, whether it's with knowledge, the workforce, your personal life, your family, your friends, your character, it takes time to build. And I think that people think that a lot of times they can get, you know, that instant gratification. I got everything that I want. I want it now, this, that, and the third. It takes a long time to be who you want to be. So keep working at it and be humble in the process. You know, I know a lot of people out there, you know, they get a little fame, a little fortune, and they forget where they came from. And it's important to always remember where you've come from and where you're going. Another lesson I have to say is credentials on the wall do not make a decent human being. Now I know a lot about credentials because I have always been about school. I've done a lot of schooling. I have quite a few degrees. I'm working on my master's right now in criminal justice and I've done honor society through the board, you know, lots of different things, uh, modeling, different things like that. But what you have hanging on the wall does not make you a good person. There are a lot of people out there that have a lot of so-called credentials or things that they've done, accomplishments, things like that, and they're crummy, crummy, crummy human beings. They treat you like crap, don't have any manners, don't have any common sense, and you would just be like, okay, a smart person you would think would know how to be a decent human being. Not always true. So that's one life lesson that everyone should definitely keep in mind. Another one is, no matter how much you care, some people just don't care. So you could care about something a whole lot, or you could feel a certain way about something, and others may just not care that you care. They may not care that you're hurt. They may not care that you love. They don't care about anything. There are just people out there. So no matter, no matter how much you care, doesn't mean that the next person next to you is going to care in the same fashion. So just keep that in mind. Also, and the fifth one I'd have to say, I think is, it takes years to build up trust and only seconds to destroy it. Now this one is very true for me, only because I have trust issues and it takes a long time for me to trust people. I have a hard time letting people in. But the reason why that is, is because not everyone I've learned can you trust. Not everyone has your best interest at heart. I may have, you know, I've always been the type of person where um, I would do anything for anyone. I would give the shirt off my back, the last dollar in my wallet, stuff like that. Not everyone's like that. So for me, since that's been proven to me over and over and over again, it takes me a long time to trust people. I'm very, very overprotective with who I let in. And people give me, excuse my French, shit about that all the time. They say you are so hard to deal with. You don't let people in 
But you know what? Sometimes it needs to stay that way. The true friends that you have, they will always be there for you time and time again throughout the years. Um, and people that are not really there for you, you think you trust them, you think they're your friend, you think they're your, even family sometimes. Um, you let them in and they destroy your trust. They betray you. So that I would say is a big one. Um, let's see. One more that I wanted to add in to you guys. Two people can look at the exact same thing and see completely different things. Perspective. That's the word that it boils down to. Your perspective is going to be different than someone else's perspective. And it doesn't mean that the other person's wrong and that you're right or you're wrong and they're right. It just means that two people could be looking at the same picture, for example, and see, kind of like reminds me of like the Warshack paintings. You look at, you know, two different people can look at the same painting and see completely different things. It's what your mind sees. It's your background, your knowledge, your creativeness that all comes to the table, which makes your perspective different than someone else's and doesn't mean that you should respect them any less. So, thank you K Kimberly 2004 for tagging me, five life lessons learned. I'm sorry it took quite a bit of time for me to get this done, but I definitely want you to know I didn't forget about you. I appreciate you tagging me. Feel free to tag me anytime. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to a couple of people who throughout this time where I've been kind of missing, I've still been keeping in contact and making sure I'm okay. Girl on 922 I got your message on my um, page, my channel page. Thank you for that. Shout out to you. I miss you too. That girl 25 who is hitting me up because Mommy Chula told her to check me out. Mommy Chula 8153, I heard that you talked about me on your last video and also tagged me, which I will be getting to as soon as I can, very shortly. Blue Fairy 0173 always has super sweet things to say thank you so much i appreciate all the support and i just want to let you guys know that i'm up to 179 subbies so if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please 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 subscribe now all right i'll talk to you guys later bye